Now we can do another LSAT logical reasoning question. We're using test number 71, which was administered in December 2013, and it's available from the Law School Admission Council at lsac.org. We're going to do a logical reasoning question from the second logical reasoning part of the test, which was published as section 3 in this booklet. We're going to question 11, and as usual, we read the question first because we don't know why we're reading the passage. The conclusion can be properly drawn if which of the following is assumed. So, there's got to be a conclusion, because they told us there was, and there's got to be an assumption that we get to make. It says, if this is assumed, it's properly drawn. So you might call this a sufficient assumption. But what it means is, is you might have something that you don't think has to be true, but if they say, hey, if they give this to you, will you win? You say, oh, I'll win. So you might get a very extreme answer, but it's going to be something that if they give you this little piece to the puzzle, then you can make an argument. So now let's read what the argument says and see if we can map it out. It says, secondary school students achieve broad mastery of their curriculum if, so they get broad mastery, if they are taught with methods that are appropriate and if they dev devote sufficient time to studying. So if those two things happen, they get broad mastery. Thus, here's our conclusion, if such broad mastery is not achieved, so if broad mastery is not achieved in a particular school, those students are not being taught with methods that are... Oh my goodness, can't you see it? Can't you see the Parent Teachers Association? And these people are all upset these kids didn't learn anything. And they said, because well, you didn't teach them the appropriate way. Well, what's the teacher going to say? So, well, we told you they had to study hard. And all you told me is that they didn't get broad mastery, so they must have not told appropriate. We said, there's something about studying hard. So we need something like that in order to create our argument. So how many answers talk about studying hard? Well, answer A talks about significant effort to the studies. Answer B has do not devote significant effort to their studies. Answer C is not at all about studying, um, and then they don't have any studying in D, and then in E it says students who do devote significant effort. So three answers are at least relevant to the devoting study. Now look what happens to answer A. As long as secondary students are taught with methods appropriate to their learning styles, they will devote significant effort to their studies. Now, you might not believe that, but they said, if we give you that assumption, what will happen? If they are given appropriate methods, they will devote effort to their studies. Now we've completed the loop. So now what happens, you just say, well, maybe they didn't learn because... They didn't study, right? That's what the teacher's going to say. That's why they, because they didn't study. But now you've got this little piece that we gave you, which is another contrapositive. And you say, well, that means if they didn't study, then they didn't have appropriate methods. Because if they did have appropriate methods, they would have studied. And so... The fact that you're trying to get at me and say you didn't get mastery because you didn't have study means I'm going to get you because they gave me this extra piece. And that fills things in. Look what happens to answer B. Even if secondary school students are taught with methods appropriate to their learning styles, they will not achieve broad mastery of the curriculum if they do not devote significant effort to their studies. That's exactly what they said to begin with. So that's not going to change the argument in the PTA. So it doesn't help you with the argument. It might be consistent with what you said, but it still doesn't get you all the way because just knowing that you get broad ma um, mastery doesn't mean you weren't given appropriate because 
you could have been having not study. And so that doesn't help you, even though it's got all the information in there. And then answer E, secondary school students who devote significant efforts to their studies do not always achieve broad mastery of their curriculum because they got a stupid teacher, and that's why they're complaining. So that's not the same situation as what we had. But sufficient assumptions give you something that seemed very extreme, and contrapositives can be very helpful, but you have to try to stay as relevant to the argument and see if you're actually adding to your argument and filling in a gap that the argument needed. Testing for the public. Nonprofit since 1985. Nobody makes things easier.